Hi, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. Today I was wondering if anyone else is curious about Danish food and cooking. This is Traditions, Ingredients, Tastes, Techniques, and 65 Classic Recipes by Judith H. Dern. I don't really know anything about Danish food and cooking. I'm assuming it's Scandinavian, etc. My boyfriend is part Danish, but you know, he, his grandfather or great-grandfather came over here from there, so it's not really Danish anymore. Let's check it out. Ooh, baking. I wonder what this is going to be. Ooh. Looks like an older, By I can tell by the style of the photography, if I'm not wrong. It's Australian. Okay. Um, don't see a date on there because they, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Contents. Appetizers and side dishes. Open sandwiches, fish and shellfish, meat, poultry, and game, desserts, and baking. And some useful addresses that are now out of date. Oh, a culinary history of Denmark. I like that. I will read that when I'm not on live video. Well, I'm not on live video, but you know what I mean. Danish landscape. Here's a picture with what they grow where. Oh, they have berries, cheese, pork. Okay. Danish cuisine. I'll have to read this. Danish festivals and holidays. New Year's Eve, Easter, Storm... Betty Dog, Valborg Zoften, Whitsun, Constitution Day, Midsummer Eve. I knew that was a big one. The Danish Open Sandwich. Apparently that's a thing there. Okay, I don't like open sandwiches. But I like closed sandwiches because then you get an extra piece of bread. Heh. Traditional foodstuffs. Meat, poultry, and game. Fish and seafood. Dairy, garden produce. Berries and fruits. Mushrooms, potatoes, bread. Corn salt. An ancestor of baking soda. Marzipan. Spices and seasonings. Alcoholic drinks. Heck yeah! Okay, the appetizers and side dishes chapter. Yellow pea soup with horseradish cream. Cauliflower soup with prawns. Chicken soup. Liver pate. Tartlets. Pickled herring. Herring marinated in sherry. Lemon marinated salmon with horseradish. Danish caviar with toast. Jerusalem artichokes al gratin. Braised red cabbage. Pickled beetroot. Cucumber salad. Potato salad. Okay, so it's basically Scandinavian cooking. Yeah, yeah. Some small pictures, directions. Uh, they're doing it both in metric and the dumb U.S. system of tablespoons and pounds, cups, etc. Chicken soup. I really will be interested to see what year this is published because the photography is out of date, but it's fine. And some of it is pretty gross for a mm, that was liver pate for a vegetarian. The tartlets are adorable. I want to make them. Jerusalem artichokes, pickled beetroot. You know, I like that they're just teaching you how to make the food. They're not trying to, like, win any Instagram food photography awards. They're just doing it. Open sandwiches. This, this will be interesting. Pickled herring, herring and tomato sauce, marinated herring and sour cream, potatoes with leeks and herring, <laughs> smoked salmon, smoked salmon with dill and lemon, or with scrambled eggs, uh, shooting star, prawns with egg and cucumber, ham with Italian salad, Liver pate with bacon and mushrooms. Pork tenderloin, bacon with apples. Okay. And some pictures of what they're supposed to look like. Herring and tomato sauce. Okay, we get the drift. Let's move on. Bacon with apples. I need to have a little thing I can touch two turn pages with without licking my fingers. Fish and shellfish. Salt cod with mustard sauce. Baked cod with cream. Fried eel with potatoes and cream sauce. Salmon steaks with warm potato salad. Fried salt salt herring with red onion compote. Fish cakes, halibut fillets with parsley sauce. And there they are. I knew they were going to have a lot of parsley. Meat, poultry, and game. Do you guys mind if I skip this section because I'm vegetarian? I'll just show you the... Mm, okay. Mm. Oh, I, I don't want to see it. Okay, it's great. Lots of meat. Okay. Whew. Desserts and baking. Red berry soup with cream. What kind of berries? Hmm. Cold buttermilk soup. Beer soup with whipped cream. If I made that for my boyfriend, he would die happy. Danish dried fruit soup. Old-fashioned apple cake. Lemon mousse. Oh, I'm, that's the first thing I'm going to make out of this cookbook. Rice pudding with warm cherry sauce. A national day dessert. Layer cake with cream and raspberries. A Swiss roll. Danish-style donuts. I wonder what makes them different than other donuts. Almond ring cake. Plum cake. Okay, seasonal sweets. Beer soup with whipped cream. It does not look appetizing. But it probably tastes good if it doesn't smell bad. Yeah. Swiss roll, Danish donuts, almond ring cake. Beautiful. All beautiful. I've definitely seen that on Instagram somewhere before. Plum cake. Mazarins. Hmm. 
Danish pastry called Wienerbrod. No comment. Okay. Wow. Dark rye bread. Oh, I love rye bread, and I will try this recipe also. And it looks like it has all the ingredients. I already have them in the house, except for the treacle molasses, which I am out of. Cool. Wow. Danish food and cooking. I definitely am going to give this a slower look through and read the introduction chapters about Danish cuisine. I'm just flipping through fast for you guys. Very interesting. I got it from my library. Let me know if you've ever made any Danish food out of a Danish food cookbook. I'm going to try. I'm going to make the lemon mousse. What are you going to make first? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please follow us, Cookbook Divas, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, maybe Pinterest.